Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Neverwinter Nights original campaign. Uh, I um, went ahead and headed to the Druids, uh, the Druids Den, I see so I can turn this in. Have you had any luck? All right, I think I found one of your Druids. Steadfast Orlane has returned. It's good to have him back in the circle. Here's your 300 gold. My dear friend Terari's return is welcomed by the Grove. Here is your 300 gold reward. I look forward to seeing the completion of your entire mission, but I'm not going to. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I've cured the Spirit of the Woods. You've done very well, lad. With the Spirit of the Woods cured, we can return to our union with nature and her creatures without fear of destruction. Here's the 500 gold. As promised earlier, I had to, I had to die to save your precious spirit. I think such a sacrifice should be worth a little bit more than 500. Failure? There are more rewards in serving nature than just gold. I have paid you what we agreed on. Be content with what you're given, and, and, and nature will reward you with a happier spirit. Fuck you. All right, never mind. I'm not going to push it. So, yeah, let's head back to town. But before I talk to... Uh, yeah, before I talk to... What's-her-face? I'm actually going to interview my my minion for a little bit. Let's give Sharwin a chat. Is there something you need? I want to talk for a while. I'd like to get to continue your story from before, Sharwin. And I'm doing it right where this damn portal is, like, fucking with me. Okay, there we go. I had just mentioned the invitation from Athkatla, hadn't I? Yes, that's right. We went, though I had a sense of foreboding the entire way. The city of Coin lived up to its name. It was a golden, bustling place that rivaled even the great Waterdeep. The palace we arrived at was larger than any building I'd ever seen. Danon assured me that we would find our fortune there, and for a while I thought he might be right. We were to play before the fabulously wealthy Lord and Lady Ornaras, and all seemed well. Um, Athkatla is a dangerous place, I hear. Perhaps, though we were nowhere near its worst sections. We were welcomed into a world of wealth and luxury, with everything we desired and delivered by e everything we desired delivered by eager slaves. Nothing went wrong at first. Danon and I were pampered and prepared for our performance, and it went off without any problems. We sang in a great hall before several hundred nobles. It still takes my breath away to think about it, and the applause for our duet was thunderous. I remember being exhilarated and pleased, as Danon was. It was then that the Lord and Lady Onaris came to greet us in person. Lord Onaris was a fat and simple man who seemed bored. The Lady, however, she was an exotic beauty. Violet eyes, elven features, elfin features and in a an astounding gown. Every man watched as she passed. Um, Uh-oh, that does sound bad. I would have hoped not. I would have hoped that love meant something, but Danon didn't fail to notice her charms, that was certain. Of course, I asked why we were invited. Lady Onaris ignored me and fawned over Danon, saying how sh she had spotted him in a lovely tavern in Baragos and had wanted to meet him. I had, I had been in Baragos too, of course, but I was completely ignored. She cooed over Dan, and he was flushed with the pleasure of the attention. He agreed readily to a year-long contract to perform. Of course, I was not happy about it. Dan called me later and assured me there was nothing to worry about. Nothing could have been further from the truth. He left you for the lady, then. Not right away. I fought for him. I thought our love would endure. Things weren't exactly as they seemed, however. That's a tale I'll continue at another time. I tired of thinking about Dan in RPG. Let's do something else. I'm going to talk to her again. Boom! Yes. Is there something uh, you need? I just want to talk to while, for a while. I'd like you to continue story from before. Very well, RPG. I had already told you we'd met Lady Onaris, correct? That she'd fawned all over Danon, but he'd assured me there was nothing to fear. Well, we were bound by contract now to perform, and so we did. We did so well, too. It was not long before we were the toast of Athkatla, praised by the Lord and Lady Onaris at every turn. Nobles showered us with attention and gifts at every turn. Everyone wanted us to perform the for them next. It was a, I was a bit dazzled by it all, but also concerned. Lady Onaris continued to lavish attention to Danon. She called, she called him to private performances, without me, and he was spellbound, despite my efforts to distract him. Were they having an affair? I prayed that it was not so. I suspected, but could prove nothing. The servants were too good at misdirecting me, subtly keeping me from interrupting their privacy. Desperate and an angry, I accused Danon of succumbing to her lust. He denied it, denied it angrily, and I believed him, almost. 
After one of our largest concerts, I followed Danon as he left the stage. I used what magic I knew to disguise myself, avoiding the servants and keeping pace with him. I felt terribly guilty for the deception, hoping against hope that my suspicions were for naught. Of course, I was disappointed. I watched invisibly as Danon made his rendezvous with Lady Onaris, laying fevered kisses upon her and saying how every minute they were apart was excruciating to him. Uh, why did why did they bother to keep it secret from you? Don't be foolish. They weren't keeping it a secret from me. They were keeping it a secret from Lord Onaris. He likely could have cared less, but appearances had to be maintained. To my shock, I must have dropped my spell, for the Lady Onaris spotted me. She did not care. She only laughed lightly and pointed me out to Danon. He merely looked at me and smiled. I merely stood there dumbfounded as Danon called me a foolish little girl. Pathetic, even. Not only did he prefer Lady Onaris, but he had never loved me. I fled, their mocking laughter ringing in my ears. I fled them, I fled Athkatla, and I have never been back. That's horrible. Yes, I was devastated. I had left the security of my family to make Dan in my world, and it had crumbled around me. As I said, however, things were not as they seemed. I found out much later that Lady Onaris' beauty was the result of an enchantment, a glamour. She had spellbound Danon in the literal sense. I have also discovered that a lock of nymph's hair will break her spell. Danon will be released and her glamour will end. She will revert to her natural appearance, old and fat, so I hear. Um, are you sh Would you take him back now that you know? No, the hurt was too real, even if the glamour wasn't. At some level, I would always blame him for not being strong enough. It doesn't matter. Everyone should be allowed their little illusions, perhaps. I admit that it would give me some small satisfaction to remove her spell once and for all. All it will take is finding that nymph's hair. One day, perhaps, I shall discover some. I, th I have one right here. That is nymph's hair, isn't it? You're a marvel, RPG. Danon will be freed and Lady Onaris revealed for the fat old woman she is. Or is that what I want? I have been looking forward to this for some time, but I fail to feel any excitement over it. Uh... Danon should be free from the spell, at least, no? Hmm, the spell may have worn off, and maybe it was really his choice. But what if it wasn't? I suppose I owe him that much, at least. Thank you, RPG. I wish I had something more to thank you with. Maybe I'll think of something later. Let's go on, shall we? Alright, and that concludes her quest. I think that's our entire quest yes. for this section, isn't it? Is there something uh, yeah. It looks like the entire quest for this particular issue. Wait, can she level up now? Did I miss something yes. in there? Is there something you need? Uh, never mind. No, she can't level up just quite yet. So let's head uh, in and turn in what I can to Lady Arabeth. You know what? Before I talk to... Well, well I'll talk to Lady Arabeth. Um, I have the located some information this about the cult. What have you discovered? Show her Relmer's journal. One can only wonder what this cult might have done had their plans in the Neverwinter Wood been successful. Well done. Okay. This information confirms it then. The cult, the cult is, is located, located in Luska. Excellent work. You have justified Lord Nash's faith in you and more. All right. You will need to get into Luskin and enter the host tower itself. Speak to Eren. Hopefully he will have some ideas on how you can go about this. All right. Uh, I'll do my Eren, best. Yeah. Go and we'll talk to Aaron Gend on how to get into the host tower. I understand that you have found information pinpointing the cult within Luskin. That is good. I believe I have found a way inside the city. All right. Sounds like we've got a plan. A friend of mine is a sergeant who works the city gates. I have convinced him that the plague is no longer a threat. And as a favor, he has agreed to allow my agents and I. So he could have got me in any time. I will give your description to him so he will allow you entry. Erebeth and I shall be moving our base of operations to Luskin, so we will meet you there. So now I can go Erebeth over to Luskin and, and get begin inside. Moving our base to the Temple of Tyr within Luskin. Once you get inside the city, so I got to go get inside Luskin. Remember right. to finish up any loose ends you have, and to take what companions and gear you need before going to Luskin. You will not be able to leave the city once you. So that means it's a uh, transition to the next go area. There and do what you must. I wish you success. Not a problem. Now, what I'm going to do is before I go in there, I'm going to go... Uh, I'm going to turn in this book I found. All right. I have one of the tomes you, speak, you seek, and I'll offer the Tome of Resonance. 
Well, well, the Tome of Resonance. I, though I hoped otherwise, I felt certain I would never see it amongst my collection. You have my admiration and appreciation. You should, this should keep you quite happy indeed, I would think, don't you? Surely you can provide me with more than that. Failure? Okay, goodbye. And how many books do I have left? I think I've got one left. And those are all books on making magic items. Let me go sell off some of my shit, and then I'm going to figure out what to do next. Probably head towards Luskin. I still got a couple loose ends to tie up, though. Alright, I am, uh... Back. I've sold off a lot of my excess stuff. Scribed a few scrolls, and then I'm going to continue on my way. I'm going to head north towards Luskin. And we're going to stop at the Green Griffin Inn and figure out what the hell's going on here. I believe that there's actually two places I could have been to. I haven't actually checked out yet up, up here. Okay, this is the North Road, uh, the area of the Green Griffin Inn. And I'm getting jumped by what looks like Durgar. Or guards or something, I don't know. You know what? It was suggested to me that I start uh, using my quick keys, which I really need to. So, I'm actually going to start doing that. I'm going to replace this with a spell, Evar's Black Tentacles. All right, hold on, first of all, we're going to empty these quick slots. All of them. Okay. Yes, those two. All right, what, what do I often use? Thinking Black Tentacles. Um, what's another good one that I use a lot? Probably Fireball. And then the usual Ice Storm and Cone of Cold. I've got to readjust my spells because I'm, I'm all set up. I'm all set up to like just use various shit against casters. And that's not what the issue is anymore. What the fuck? I know for a fact that was a valid target. And now all my people are dying. I'm gonna go uh, get my people back real quick. That was really messed up. Alright, heading back. I'll actually get some shit done this time. Well, these guys are doing a number on everybody. Okay, that was not what I needed to do. But it did help. A little bit. Ow, my familiar died. Come on, we need to get these guys. Ow. What the fuck, man? Come on, get in the damn tentacles. Jesus Christ. Get in the tentacles. Oh my god, these guys are rough! And I'm dead. Fucking A! Oh my god, this is so aggravating. Now we're properly buffed up. Let's go ahead and do this. Again. So, this time, hopefully, it'll make sense. I'll go ahead and do the, uh... The ice... The ice storm. See, that, that where my familiar went around the outside in there, that opened me up to retaliation. You know what? Fuck these guys. Boom. Oh, fuck. That's more tentacles. I didn't mean to get that. Hey, we won! And that is an improvement. Holy shit. I'm gonna need to rest again after that. A Warhammer? That is it? He didn't have anything like a... Like a note or anything? Fucking A. Well, you know what? 
That calls for a rest. Holy crap. But I like that tiger. That tiger is nice. I'm going to keep it for a while. I can see where it could get in the way if I was like underground and shit. So there's the inn. I'm just going to explore around here on the outside and make sure I'm not missing anything. And then we'll go investigate the inn. Alright, where does this go? Man, my cat's just warping around. What the hell? We got a, a polar bear? What the fuck? Walking through the woods in a temperate zone and all of a sudden, boom! Polar bear. Okay. Although, look, we do have a campfire up here. And we do have a cave. Oh, some wolves. Oh, wait, is this the cave that I needed? Is this like a wolf cave? Go ahead, finish these guys off. I'm gonna go over there to get this all on the map, then we'll, then we'll check out the cave. Alright, nothing else over here. Let's hop in the cave, then. Ah, immediately get jumped by wolves. Oh, is this a werewolf cave? There's random dogs in here. Dogs aren't even hostile, they're just like there. You gonna let me loot that? Yeah, dogs to stand in my way. What the hell? More wolves? Please be, please be worth my while. Oh look, werewolf lair. Yeah, this is this is the right place. So let's go ahead and uh, come around here. Investigate this werewolf lair. Wait. Come on, come on, do it, do it, do it. Boom. Oh fuck, I'm too late. A day late and a dollar short. That's all right though. All right, is he gonna is he gonna surrender? All right, here we go. Okay, don't attack him anymore. Let's chat. Let's chat. Come on. Let's chat. You have come to put down the dread, Sir have you? Uh, Nurik gave me these silver charms. I think I can help. You've come to me with silver. Do you not remember that I was a werewolf hunter? That silver would be poison to me now. If it was normal silver, perhaps, but this bear is Nurik's holy blessing. Don't mock me with your lies. I offer you a choice, Carathis. Take it, or I kill you. And I shall use your filthy charm. I am a servant of my god, however, and it is by his hand that I shall make miracles of your base attempts. There, that should be proof enough of my innocence. Take this journal I have penned and give it to Nurik. It tells the truth of what has happened. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must return to my order and seek penance for taking on the shape of my enemy. Read my journal well and act upon it. All right, I will, but I'm also going to walk over here and loot all of your shit. What, there's nothing in there? What a ripoff. Hold on. I know we got some shit in here. All right. Money and potions, not bad. Oh, that's in here, and I got a trap over there. Remove disease, eh, could be, could be better. And then the final trap, which I need to actually get a familiar up for. Boom. Oh, wow. <laughs> so much for that familiar. Bracers of armor plus two and a paralytic bolt. Which I think that those armor bracers probably not going to stack with everything else I've got. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually just gate back to town. Actually, we're going to read that what he gave me. What did he give me? The Journal of Sir Carathus Ironheart. 
May the celestial armies rain fire upon mine enemy, Al Alhalor, Alhalor the werewolf, Alhalor the alpha male. I have hunted him for years, and with a simple bite, he has turned me into the very thing I hate. No doubt he hides beneath his merchant guise even now. That's the dude in town, I think. As the lycanthropic blood courses th courses through me, I lash out at the poor boys and therefore spread this horror all the more. One, at least, escaped my maddened lunge. Ander, the smallest. I can only hope that he makes it back to town and tells his tale to Nurik. Surely the priest will send a hunting party after me. I can only hope they are capable of killing me before I spread this dreaded curse any further. May the gods have mercy on my soul. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to head back to town. I'm going to talk to Nurik. And I'm going to step out that door. And I'm going to go confront Alhalor. All right. I know the true... I know the true identity of the Black Wolf. Do you speak truly, Alhalor? But he... If that's the case, I almost cannot bring myself to say this, but he needs to be destroyed. The curse of the Black Wolf must be ended so it will never be spread to innocence again. I wish I need, I need not ask it of you, but would you seek out Alhalor and do what it must be done? Please, brother, do this and bring me his tooth so that I may know once and for all that the danger is over. Is there going to be a reward for this task, too? It goes without saying that I would reward you for the task, but only if you return with the Tooth of the Beast. I must be sure the deed is done. I know I can trust you. Your efforts have been far beyond anything we could have hoped for. End it quickly, brother. Let Tyr guide your hand in the name of justice. Alright, we're going to step out here. We're going to go seek out Alhalor. It's popping in here next door. Well, there's Ander. Where'd Alhalor go? If you're looking for Alhalor, he went home to get some rest. Maybe I could answer a question for you. Okay, Ander, Alhalor is really the Black Wolf. What? That can't be right. Are you joking with me, sir? I'm not joking, Ander. I wanted to warn you. I. That's so. I don't doubt your word, though. Alhalor was always a bit odd. Somehow, I just never suspected what a fool I've been. Thank you for telling me, sir. I'll definitely watch out for him. I haven't seen Alhalor since he went back to his home by the pond. If you hurry, you can catch him there and kill him once and for all. Uh, well, well, where is Alhalor's home by the pond? Is it in town? Alhalor's home. Yeah, it's right in town. It's right over here. Got to go around town towards... Is this it? Yeah, here we go. I go ahead and search in here. Quick save the game. I'm gonna rest here actually, because I need to resummon my I need to resummon my familiar again. So, heading on inside. Well there's the uh, the trap. There's a big ass trap. Um yeah, let's just trigger that trap real quick. Alright. Making sure it's a clear run. I've already been in here, haven't I? At least I thought I had. Check the altar. Okay. You have a keen nose to attract me here. I suppose I should welcome you to my den. Okay. Why all this deceit, Black Wolf? What was in it for you? We wolves are predators. I was It was simply time to hunt the hunter and pin my crimes upon my prey. I had played possum with Carathas long enough. Prepare to die, Black Wolf. I'm an old and cunning wolf, my friend. Not one to die so easily. Except... Ow! But, and ordinarily you, you would be dead already except that I had to actually go talk to you. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and get, uh... Wait! What? How? Why did it warp me back here? What the fuck, man? Is, I'm, I'm playing this on my own fucking computer. There shouldn't be any lag. Come on, kill him already. Please. He's near death. And there we go. Thank God. Please tell me you left a tooth. 
Scimitar unidentified. Shimmering Blade. Um, it's a plus two... Plus two scimitar, plus five to parry. I'm gonna be able to sell that. We'll get Alhalor's Tooth and we'll go turn it in. Oh, wait, what? Uh, you look like you're having a rough day. Why don't you tell me your name? Thank you for your concern. My name is Jahil. What's your name? They call me RPG. A fitting name for one as fascinating as you, RPG. I only wish my mind could dwell on more pleasant conversation. Is there something I can help you with? Um, wait. Did she track me down to talk to me? Um, what's so terrible about today? It's so horrible. I was supposed to bring my little brother Neva into town to buy him a birthday present for his 10th birthday. He was so excited he kept running ahead of me. He ran over a hill when all of a sudden I heard him scream. I ran as fast as I could to get to the top of the hill, but as I got close I could hear men's voices. I dropped to the ground and peeked over the crest of the hill. Neva was surrounded by a group of thugs. They packed, picked him up and carried him off, laughing to themselves. I simply don't know who to turn to. The guards are busy with their own troubles and need someone who can rescue him quickly. Uh, do you know where the bandits took him? Yeah, I f yes, I followed him quietly to some standing stones in the hills just outside of Charwood. Uh, if you're, are you offering a reward for his rescue? I have 300 gold. Uh, sure. I would love to rescue him for you. So I'm going to finish that real quick. I'm going to go to, into Charwood and finish that quest real quick. I didn't even... She must have tried to approach me before and I just ignored her. So let's actually finish this up real quick, because that's some quick experience. I'm trying to get my experience up before I head into the next section of the game. So I will see you when I, I go get her stuff. Alright, Standing Stone should be right up here. And it should be a simple thing. There we go. Wait. Holy shit, Neva is like part of them. You know what? Fuck this kid. Don't take that the wrong way. I am getting... It's, it's probably a halfling. Look at this shit. He's a damn bandit. Jaheel was one of the ones that, that jumped me. You know what? Here we go. Unidentified animal. Necklace of prayer beads. Don't need it, but I'm going to grab it. And letter to Neva. Our efforts with the Gork clans of the Uthgart and Earthgarts tribes continue, and we are close to a breakthrough. The resulting army, already strong, should be enough to bring about the new and holy empire. Not all is as smooth as hoped, however, as some meddlers are proving to be of small but growing concern to our cause, interrupting our search for the artifact in Charwood, the Neverwinter Wood, and the Ogre Caves north of Port Last. I've already sent Solomon against these interlopers, but he has failed. If you should fail, I will have to take Vardik from his current tasks and set him upon them. In other words, do not fail me. Mogrim Korathir. And that was an ambush! Okay. Kind of a really super obvious ambush. Let's head back to town. And then we'll continue on our way. Actually, I'm going to take that to, uh, to Arabeth. First, I'm going to talk to this guy. Brother RPG, how do things progress? Is Alor the Black Wolf dead? Uh, Alor is dead. I have his tooth here. It has been a dark day for Port Last, but you have reminded us that the sun rises yet again. To the champion of Port Last, here's a token of our gratitude. I'm going to try and get more. The people of Port Last can only give us so much. To ask more of them would be, please, be content with what you have. Alright, not a problem. And, uh, let's go talk to Arabeth. No, she's still here. Yo, Arabeth. God damn it. Guess they don't want to hear about this army that's forming. Fucking Arabeth, man. She just does not give a shit about... She's gonna fuck this up again. Back at the Green Griffin Inn. Hopefully for the last time. I'm gonna... I gotta continue looking around this place. Find out what I missed. Probably not a lot here. We can only hope that there's not a lot here. Except that there seems to be a lot here. God damn it. Oh well. There's like some farm full of zombies out here. What the hell? Come on. Kill these zombies. 
And while they're doing that, I'll go ahead and loot these barrels. So is this somebody's house I'm liberating here? Let's read the sign. The board reads, Beware, the undead are restless. Bring weapons to visit Grandma or don't visit her at all. Really, it's signed the caretaker. Oh, shit. So this is like a zombie-infested... Uh, a zombie-infested cemetery. What's this? Some, someone to come to disturb my graveyard? Your graveyard? Yes, my graveyard, damn it. You think these old headstones just clean themselves, do you? Ha. Huh. It's a rather small graveyard, isn't it? Well, they moved the graveyard inside the city walls, smarty pants. Nobody comes out here anymore, not that I mind. Oh, but if only they knew. Hey, <laughs> my little graveyard has its secrets, so yes it does. Er, uh, just what sorts of secrets are you talking about? Well, all right then, listen close. They buried one of the oldest members of the Arcane Brotherhood here, right here, oh yes. What's interesting about him? It's very interesting because they carved out a whole tomb underneath the mausoleum, full of magics and everything, or so I'm told. You haven't gone down there? Oh, no, no, no. I have the key, of course. There's just, well, zombies down there and such. They come up from time to time. That's why I keep the mausoleum under lock and key. Zombies? Mm, oh, yes, yes. They've been a bit restless for quite some time now. I imagine it's one of those wizards down there. Not quite as dead as he should be. You know how it goes. It doesn't frighten you? Us caretakers don't frighten easy. Besides, I imagine that fellow's busy with his books. He won't be bothering me for some time. What books? Oh, did I say books? Or no, I didn't. I, I said he's busy with his looks. Yeah. That's it. One of those undead looks a fright, you know. You know, you said books. I'm sure of it. Dang, blast it. Fine, fine. It just so happens those fool wizards left a whole collection of magical books down there. I don't know why. I bet they just plain forgot about them, I guess. Leave it to the wizards. I ain't never seen them, but my grandpappy did. He said there was a huge books, all covered in runes. The kinds of things wizards usually get their robes in a knot over. Like this one lizard, wizard, this one wizard who came here looking for, oh, for back, by months back. El Tura, she said her name was, from Port Las, desperate to find them books. I didn't tell her nothing. Anyhow, I imagine them books is connected to whatever strangeness is going on down there. I don't mind. I just take things as they come. How about uh, you give me that key and I'll go down there. Let you plunder that tomb. Never her, not for less than 200 gold pieces. 50 gold and you can thank me for that. Humph. Are you that poor that you can't afford the... Bah, fine, fine. Go ahead and take it. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I'm not poor. It's just you gotta know what you gotta know what uh, what card you hold. You know what I'm saying? So I've got an entire dungeon complex apparently that I gotta figure out down there, which I will get to afterwards. But for now, let's just go ahead and kill off these zombies. I get, I keep going to this menu from habit. Boom! That's how you handle zombies. Boom! Come on, do it again. Boom! Damn, there's a lot of zombies. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Boom! Again! To Man. I was this got? This has a couple of gold in it. I have no idea what's under that mausoleum. I'll say this though, man. This place is full of shit to explore. I'll give it that. Let's let's take take a look back here. And money. Right, let's continue our, our search around here and then we'll go to the mausoleum probably in the next episode. I was hoping to hit Luskin next episode, but I really am interested in seeing what's down there. Okay, back up top. And search around here. That inn takes up a huge amount of space. I'm going to attack that dire boy. This should just be adjacent to the lake, yeah. Or the river, or whatever. And we can go across.
and probably not find a whole hell of a lot of anything. I think this might be the extent of this exploration. Yeah. So what do we got here? Um, well, we should have like some gates this way. Yeah, there's the gates to Luskin. There's the Luskin sergeant that I'm supposed to talk to to get in. Uh, but what I've really got to do is explore this area. And that's going to take a little bit of, a bit of time. So next episode, we will talk to people in the Green Griffin Inn, right around here. And then we'll explore the tomb underneath the graveyard. For now, there's been the RPG Crawler with Neverwinter Nights Original Campaign. If you like what you've seen, remember to leave a like, comment if you've got feedback, and subscribe for more RPG content. Until next time, take care and goodbye.